Hello. Hello. God bless you. Jesus loves you. We have a word today about a great deception that is coming. On June 13, the Lord had told us that there was a great deception coming, and we released that word to you. We will put a link somehow to this video so that they're connected somehow. But we recommend if you haven't listened to that word, listen to that one first. And then this one comes after it. He says that a great deception will start soon. And as of today, which is June 26, 2021, it has not started yet. But it's something that could fool even the elect, the faithful ones. And so he says, pray, um, mm -hmm. pray for not just yourself, but your brothers and sisters in Christ to stand and to remain faithful. But he says, do not fear. That was very, very, he was adamant about that the mm -hmm. last time he spoke about this. So this part of the word came to us both um, in different parts, but the Lord right. put it together as one word on June 24, 2021. So this is a continuation regarding a great deception. Mm -hmm. He says, the great deception comes. It comes as a feather blown in the wind, not as a hammer that strikes a blow. Behold, it ramps up slowly, but in its wake is wailing and cursing because this new sickness is a true pandemic, hmm. a sickness enhanced by man. And even as man again tries to intervene and mitigate the effect, he is deceived again and only makes it worse. And the toll climbs higher because of his intervention. The inherent evil in all of this, from the start to the finish, shall not have its desired effect, however. If all the evil playing itself out, or it, all the evil playing itself out, shall actually have the opposite effect, as I am turns it for the good of those who love him. This does not mean that these faithful ones will not taste the sting of war, however. My faithful ones shall experience sorrow, even though their experience in the end will be a great triumph of good overcoming evil. Do not go into fear, therefore. Those who allow fear to come in will make decisions based on that fear, and these decisions will be devastating. Keep your eyes on me, says the Lord. I will not lead you into destruction, but into peace and love and hope. Amen. And so the, the first part, he says it comes as a feather. He, the planned fake pandemic of COVID, because that was a planned fake pandemic. It wasn't a real pandemic. It came like a hammer suddenly. We suddenly shut down, etc. But this coming deception, the Lord says, will be a real pandemic, but it will come gradually like a feather floating down. And the COVID, obviously, was a sickness enhanced by man as well, but the intervention of man made it worse, the injection part. The sorrow of those around us dying will affect us. You might lose someone you love. But the end is a great triumph of good over evil, and we must keep that within our sights. We must be led by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and nothing else, especially fear. You cannot be led by fear, the Lord says, or your decisions will be devastating. And so um, we asked, how will it be that some of the remnant will be winnowed out? Because he did talk about that before. And he said, they won't understand why so many are dying and they'll forget the promises the promises of the Lord, the promises of the good things, the promises of the trumpet, the pattern of the trumpet being repeated in the nations around the world. They'll forget the promises of justice and so on. And they'll go into fear. And, they'll, and the Lord says that people will hoard and wring their hands in fear. Those who, are in, those who are fearless and not deceived will be free. And my faithful ones will heal them even as Jesus touched lepers and healed them. Mm -hmm. And so this power is in you. When Jesus is in you, the Holy Spirit is in you. The power of God to heal is in you. Instead of being afraid of a sickness, expect it to die at your touch. It not only doesn't affect you, but you're able to kill it. So
So keep that in mind. And he says this is also why the intellectuals will lose hope. Um, Trump's return will not come as they expected. He says the earthquake is coming soon. The legions of angels are arriving. His prophets see it coming. His faithful will stand. He instructs us to pray for the remnant. And he says, these are glory filled days. Hallelujah, says the <laughs> Lord. And then I wanted to share too, and just interrupt me if you're hearing something from the Lord. No, go ahead. Um, but I was asking him a little bit this morning about this because <laughs> it, just doesn't sound fun <laughs> and <It's> um, <laughs> but but father says that his people his people are known for having love and not having fear they'll be known for their love the mark of the beast is a mark of fear and the mark of the Lord is love and so therefore there has to be things that people are afraid of for his people to stand out as different and he brought me to first peter he said read through that and there were a couple of things that he highlighted one was uh chapter one and i'm going to read a few verses out of that starting at verse three blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does, that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith hmm. for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you've been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Our mm -hmm. faith has to be tested. And these trials are temporary. Um, they're not something that lasts, but what he brings does. And then chapter 4, he said to look at verse 12. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened to you. <laughs> we always want to escape those trials. But oh, man. He says, don't, don't think this is weird. This is supposed to happen. Yeah. But rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings. That when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. And these are the days that he's pouring out his glory. Mm -hmm. These are the days of the latter rain. And so as you hold on to the promises of God and you become an island of peace and of hope and of love that people look to and they say, well, that person is not afraid. Yeah, what yeah. is it that they have that I don't have? That's the spirit of glory and of God resting upon you. And that is your destiny. That is the call of God on your life. And so in these days, in this great deception that is coming, don't fear. Don't worry. Pray. Pray for the remnant. Mm -hmm. yep. But don't worry and don't fear. Yeah, I, you know, this is one of the more somber uh, words that we've gotten. And yet he calls for us to have no fear and tells us that, you know, he is peace and joy and hope. Um, so if, if we truly don't look around us and if we've died to our, our surroundings and ourself and we live for him, then we only look to him for that peace and joy and hope. So, um, when he says to do it, it should, we should say, well, yes, of course, but um, you know, when it comes uh, with a backdrop of uh, a pandemic or something like that, it's easy to go into fear. And um, he keeps saying over and over, don't do it. Don't do that. And don't make decisions based in fear because they'll be devastating to you, to those around you. Who, who knows? But um, we're to avoid fear. 
where we make decisions by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the one who leads us, the Spirit of Truth, who leads us into all truth. So that's 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 all. I mm -hmm. it's just and he is joy. He it's the joy of the Lord that's our strength, and um, we have to maintain that strength no matter what our situation is. True. And talking about that fear, too, remember that just because you feel fear doesn't mean you've given into it. A mm -hmm. temptation is not the same as giving into something. So you might be tempted to mm -hmm. go into fear. Just don't do it. It's a choice. Just like forgiveness, everything else, it's by faith. You decide, I'm not going to be afraid. In fact, yeah. remember that our job is not only to just endure something, it's to take ground. That's right. So determine if the devil's trying to get you in fear, you're going to take ground instead. How about mm -hmm. I go heal a bunch of people or whatever? Mm -hmm. So yep. that, that's, that's God's message to you. Yep. So be encouraged, really. Don't be, be afraid. encouraged. Yep. Um, we understand, but uh, the Lord is for us and not against us. And, you know, by fall of next year, Kirk has had visions of... of various areas in the United States um, from September of 2022. I know uh, I heard Manuel Johnson also say um, he had had a vision um, in, I think it was 2022 as well. I think so. And none of this stuff was going on. So I, I doubt that it's going, I'm not giving you a timeline <laughs> because <laughs> I haven't heard specifically, yeah. but I doubt that this is still happening then. So it mm -hmm. doesn't seem like it's something that drags on super long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Just have to endure a little longer. Endure and take ground. That's right. <laughs> take ground. Jesus take ground. loves you yep. so much. God bless you. God bless you. Hello. Hello. This is uh, Kirk and Tiffany, and we want to tell you about Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and more importantly, Destiny Road LLC. Destiny Road Store dot com exists to help those who are at risk or have been rescued from human trafficking while spreading the gospel to the nations supporting orphanages and helping our partner jimmy in haiti to spread the gospel there all of the money that you spend at destiny road goes to further the kingdom of heaven if you would rather you may donate to seeking the glory of god ministries and the information is in the description box below this video God bless you and thank you. God bless you.